What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. I almost said Shadowlands again. <laughs> hmm. Hope you're all doing very well. I hope you are excited. Today has been absolutely insane in terms of the um, amount of news coming out right now for WoW stuff. I was literally just doing my prep for this Hunter video. We're going to do a Survival Hunter video, by the way. But I was prepping for it, and... Like, 50 things came out on the on Wowhead. Like, look at this here. Where's the... Look at this. There's, like, data mine shaman stuff. Are you kidding me? Let's just go to another tab here really quick. There's um, dragon riding. Uh, uh, Paladin data mine spell changes. This is just, like, two seconds ago. Dragonflight alpha group interview with Ian Hattacostas. Warrior data mine spells. Dragonflight talent calculator for all available class. Shaman data mine spells. Mage data mine spells. Evoker tree is up. So, listen, we got to get moving here. <laughs> we got to move because the Dragonflight Alpha is on right now. It happened today. I didn't get in, unfortunately. I checked my client, and I don't see that it's here anywhere. So, unforch on that one. But that's okay. We will continue on. Today, we're going to talk about Survival Hunter. If you missed the last video on the class tree for Hunter, it's over. It's on my uh, channel. Just go to the last video, and um, it'll be there. The class tree for Hunter is kind of bad, and it's... The video was quite, I was quite adamant about how bad it was. So we're going to talk to me about Survival Hunter. There's also a lot of bad things in the Survival Hunter tree. There's a lot of things they have to fix about Hunter. Blizzard actually posted something a couple days ago about this. This was um, some clarification here. Double tap will very likely be moved to a different place on the tree. And something else will be in the bottom left spot. Survival currently has too many potential talent points to spend. Some adjustments will be made there. Also, Frenzy Strikes is potentially able to be taken without knowing Wildfire Bomb, which we have to resolve. This is not a that's all that's being changed post. There are other issues being worked on. So that's good um, to know that they are working on it. It's actually good to just get communication from Blizzard on problems that people have the hunter tree came out i don't know a week ago or a couple weeks ago maybe less than a week ago but the point is they're already communicating about what they're going to change so very good from blizzard <clears throat> that they're listening that they're communicating this is the kind of stuff we want to see so let's get into these trees um i have a lot of notes i want to get through this kind of quickly because i want to just um get into some of the other news that's been going on which is pretty wild but let's start off with talking about the class tree for survival hunter What's kind of good here? Generally speaking, guys, the left side's kind of bad. You're going to start on the right-hand side. You're going to pick up your utility, grab things like kill shot because there is a kill shot build over here that's kind of developing. So we'll get into that. And then you want to snake your way over to the left. So you kind of want to start on the top, go bing, 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 get through trank shot, come through intimidation, and then over here to the um, uh, kill command stuff. So pet damage by 9%, kill command damage by 10%, and then alpha predator or killer instinct, which is a execute for uh kill command which is kind of neat there's a lot of kill command stuff in the survival hunter tree so that's kind of an obvious pathway you want to go down once you've kind of done that you can make your choices about do you want to grab serpent sting and do a serpent sting type build with explosive shot or you can can those and just go into keen insight and just get six percent more crit unfortunately you have to take binding shackles which is so awful blizzard please change this please put this somewhere else having to take a buff to intimidation slash high explosive trap which is basically useless is is so bad so i would like to see i think you probably want to go viper's venom explosive shot to have a couple of extra abilities for free unfortunately it kind of limits you from taking chakrams and death chakram for survival hunter getting down to chakram and death chakram is a bit of a yikes because you have to go through either Barrage and Maxter Marksman, which don't necessarily apply to you as much. Or you have to go through Nesting Wary's Trapper Apparatus, which is like just an absolute no take right now because it's in such a bad state. If they buff Nesting Wary's Trapping Apparatus, then maybe, maybe you could take it and then go down to Chakrams. But <clears throat> last thing I'm going to say is that Master Marksman does actually work on a surprising number of Survival Hunter abilities, right? If you take Explosive Shot and Serpent Sting, those are both ranged. If you take, you're going to have Barrage, so that's ranged. You're going to have Wildfire Bomb, which is ranged. You're going to have, there's something else, Kill Shot, which is ranged. And then if you take Aspect of the Eagle, it'll make your Raptor Strike slash Mongoose Bite ranged. I don't know if that works with Master Marksman. We'll have to wait and see on the Alpha, or whatever, the Beta, when I get in, <laughs> and see 
if it kind of works together. But there's a surprising amount of synergy between Master Marksman and Survival. But that's it for Survival. You basically want to come down here, hang a left, get all the uh, Kill Command stuff, probably pick up uh, Serpent Sting and Explosive Shot. That would be my guess. That's kind of what you're looking at. <clears throat> okay. Let's move forward. Let's get into the Survival Hunter tree itself. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is... <clears throat> so, left side, middle area, right side, okay? So, left side is like Wildfire Bomb plus Kill Shot. The middle area is kind of like your buffs and some AoE damage. It's actually... The middle area is really problematic. The right area is like five points on Harpoon, which we'll talk about later, and then Mongoose Bite. There are some really cool abilities at the bottom, like Spearhead and Fury of the Eagle. Love these abilities. These are really, really good. There's other nodes here that are okay, that are actually pretty good. Coordinated Assault is a completely different cooldown now than it used to be. We're going to get to all that, but there's some there's some real outliers in the Survival Hunter tree that are just, just giga bad. So, um, let's talk about it. First of all, there's way too many awful, like, three-point talents to take. Once again, it's the same as the the class tree, like, three points here, three points in Nesting Worries, three points for Agile Movement, three points for Keen Insight, three points for Born to be Wild. Like, there's just way too many on this uh, class tree. It's a similar story on the spec tree. Predator's three. Tip of the Spear is three. Oh, let me just take one point out here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. This is three. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I do this already? Eight, nine, ten. There's ten three point things here. Like, Blizzard, what is wrong with you? Stop doing this. There's so many better ways to build a tree. The three pointers are crazy bad. Please don't do that. One thing I'm going to show you guys later is I made up a little mock uh, thing that I'm actually going to save. Let's save that again. Did we save it? Let's just save it one more time. And then I'm going to bring it up for you later. Um, <clears throat> I made a mock tree for the Survival Hunter just to be like, yo, I think that there's some good things we can change here. I'll get to that a little bit later, okay? I've got it right here ready to go. So, <clears throat> too many three-point talents. Very little build direction in the Survival Hunter tree. There's like a wildfire kill shot angle. And then there's like mongoose bite, and that's kind of it. But they're all half-baked. They're not really good. There are pieces of builds everywhere, but there's not really full synergy compared to, like, Rogue, which has a lot of really, really good synergies. Where a lot of these abilities show up on the tree is very strange. Having Fury of the Eagle down here, which scales off of Mongoose Bite damage, is completely um, set apart from all the Mongoose Bite buffs over here. The Thrill, the Spearhead one makes sense to me because it also buffs Mongoose Bite. But, like, this doesn't make any sense being down here. It should be, like in the middle somewhere. Like, it should be where Birds of Prey is. So we'll get to that as well. Here's the left side of the tree. Here's what I want you to see. You got Wildfire Bomb. There is uh, Bloodseeker, which is Kill Command stuff, right? More Kill Command stuff here. Pet damage. Kill Command damage. Um, a chance to reset its cooldown. That's just normal. Bloodseeker is here. Gorilla Tactics is here for two Wildfire Bombs. That's fine. This is the first part where we run into problems. 25% Wildfire Bombish damage for three points is really, really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Having to spend three entire talent points just to get 25% more damage on, on one of your abilities is horrific. It's really bad. This needs to change. I'll show you my change later. Explosive Expert is good. This is a cool thing. Kill Shot reduces the cooldown of Wildfire Bomb by seven and a half seconds. It does, shouldn't be three points. I'm so sick and tired of these three-point things, but if there, to, if there has to be some of them, then this could be one of them. This is a good three-pointer to put in there. Seven and a half seconds off of Wildfire Bomb. So you can basically, if you get a proc on Kill Shot, which I'll show you that you can with Deadly Duo, then you could like Wildfire Bomb, Kill Shot, even though somebody's not an Execute, and then Wildfire Bomb. This also just gives you more Execute damage once you get there. This sort of creates an Execute build for Survival Hunter because you can be doing Kill Shot once an enemy has 20% less health or less health. And then you can also be bombing a lot. So you like bomb, kill shot, bomb, wait for your next kill shot, bomb, kill shot, bomb. That It's that rotation and execute. So that's really good talent. Wildfire infu uh, Infusion is here, which is good. That should be baseline. I mean, it, it, this basically can make it baseline for a bomb build if you want it to. But this, this basically like took up all the talents on that row, right? You never picked anything else on the bottom row, like Chakrams or Birds of Prey. 
um, which is down here. So you're going to see that you might be able to pick some of those other options. Energetic Ally, this is you You and your pet get 20 uh, more focus. This is a good talent. Two points, this is actually fine. This is a good talent. I don't mind this at all. 20 extra focus is really good. This is really good for a Mongoose Bite build. The only thing I'd say about this is maybe this should be like over here somewhere to support the Mongoose Bite playstyle. Because Mongoose Bite is just like you want as much focus as possible so that you can keep pressing Mongoose Bites. You can get the Mongoose Bite window ramped up, right? That's how you want it to go. So this is really good for that. Here's another new effect. This is sort of like the Venthyr Flayed Shot um, buff rolled into a talent. When Kill Command's cooldown is reset, you have a 15% chance to reset the cooldown of Kill Shot, and your next Kill Shot can be used on any target regardless of the target's health. So this is essentially the Flayed Shot effect with Kill Command instead. Um, instead of Flayed Shot doing its own bleed and giving you Kill Shot procs, the resetting of Kill Command will now give you Kill Shot procs. So that's actually not bad at all. It's pretty cool. It also, again, creates this Execute build with Kill Shot, which I think is very, very good for the game. Then Fury of the Eagle down here. This is the Legion Artifact Weapon. This is really cool, and I love this ability. It also scales off of uh, Mongoose uh, Bite stacks, right? Kill Command... Uh... Oh. Okay, so I don't know if they change this. I'm sorry, I'm just reading this now. I read it before, but I must have read it wrong. So the Fury of the Eagle used to say this. Fury C Strike enemies in front of you. Physical damage increased uh, by four seconds. Damage increased by Mongoose Fury. Okay. Damage increased by Mongoose Fury. Now they're tying it to Kill Command. Kill Command cooldown resets reduce the cooldown of Fury of the Eagle by three seconds. So maybe it doesn't have the Mongoose Fury scaling anymore. And if it doesn't, I'd actually be very sad. But that's fine. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe they just shifted this over to a Kill Command build. Which, does, which means it makes sense actually being over in this row. Because this is like the Wildfire Bomb Kill Command um, combo. It also makes sense. It means that you're going to want Alpha Predator for sure. If you're doing a Fury of the Eagle build. So, sorry, my bad guys. I think I missed that when I was reading it. That also makes Spearhead make a lot more sense over on the Mongoose Bite side. So, we'll get to that in a minute. But that's really cool. I think that's really cool if it, if it works with Kill Command stuff. I don't mind that at all. Aspect of the Eagle is here. I don't think it should be this far down in the tree. This is a utility button. Usually all the stuff on the bottom of the tree is kind of like raw throughput slash damage. This is damage, but like in a different way. And you're not going to use this to do damage all the time. So I don't like that it's all the way down here. It needs to be like in this middle row, I think. 6% um, crit here is very good. That's another three-point talent that I wouldn't mind being a three-point talent. 6% crit for three points. I'll take that. Not bad at all. <clears throat> so that's the left side of the tree. It's, it's like a wildfire bomb, kill command, and kill shot. That's kind of... This is like a ton of your power, actually. This left side of the tree is quite good. This is some of the best stuff in the tree by far. Um, I think it's actually really, really good. Middle of the tree is very strange. You know, you've got butchery and carve on the same node. This doesn't make any sense at all. And Blizzard hasn't even clarified this for us yet. Carve and Butchery are literally the same ability, except Butchery is just better because it has three charges instead of one. Carve is just one ability that does damage and then um, reduces the cooldown of your bombs by, like, whatever, how many seconds it is. Butchery is the same ability, except you get to cast it three times in a row if you want to. So you can go, like, Wildfire Bomb, Butchery, Butchery, Wildfire Bomb, Butchery. Like, you, you can immediately get the cooldown of your Wildfire Bomb back. But with Carve, you can't. So I don't understand why they're both here. Butchery is just a better version of Carve. So this has got to be like a mistake on Blizzard's end. Like, I feel like there's something else that should be here. And I'll show you in my little mock-up what I would actually put here instead of Carve, okay? So just be just be aware right now. I don't understand why these are here because there's no... Butchery is just better. Then there's uh, Carve reduces the remaining cooldown of Wildfire Bomb by one second. Anything here that says Carve, by the way, also applies to Butchery. Just... Just so you know that. This, like they said in their post, is out of place. Did I get rid of that? I got rid of it. So they, they, they that post that I read earlier at the beginning of the video, they told us that Frenzy Strikes is out of place. They need to move it over towards the Wildfire Bomb area. Okay? So we know that already. Flanking Strike is here, which actually might see some play now because it was on a talent row that you basically never took it. Because um, I think we had the... Um, uh, Survival Hunter... Where is it? We had... 
tip of the spear and mongoose bite. So tip of the spear was the most commonly taken ability in Shadowlands. So now you're going to have access to flanking strike and mongoose bite and actually tip of the spear because tip of the spear is right uh, here. So you could actually take tip of the spear and mongoose bite, which is kind of cool, right? Means you can have um, extra damage on your mongoose bites, which like is really, really crazy, right? Uh, it's only 25%. So I think on the regular tree, it, it stacks up to three times. That, oh, that's the thing. Oh, no, it stacks up to three. So it's the same. So you could get 75% more mongoose bite damage. Isn't that kind of crazy? You can go like... Your, your Mongoose Bite window could literally just be Kill Command, Kill Command, Mongoose Bite, Mongoose Bite, Mongoose Bite, Kill Command, Kill Command, Mongoose Bite, Mongoose Bite, right? And then you're you're getting the huge damage bonus out of Tip of the Spear onto your Mongoose Bite. You could also take Flanking Strike if you really wanted to. We'll have to see what the numbers look like for Flanking Strike because it there is some utility in Flanking Strike because it, it gives you an extra leap, which you don't necessarily need because you're going to have Harpoon. But um, it's an interesting idea anyway. This row is horrifically bad. So this is inc like this is okay. The crit is okay. This is really bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. There's just damage increases. So this all needs to change, and I'll talk about my changes later. Let's get down to coordinated assault. Coordinated assault is your new cooldown. On live, it basically gives you like twenty percent more damage, and then kill command has a higher chance to reset itself. That's what that's what coordinated assault does on live. In Dragonflight, it's going to be different. So <clears throat> you and your pet charge the enemy, striking them for physical damage. It actually has an on-use damage portion now, which I love. I love the direction of this. This is really, really good direction. I'm so tired of pressing cooldowns that just don't do anything. Like, they just give you damage. So this is like the Ascendance change they made for Enhancement Shaman, like, years ago. Or not years ago, a while ago now, but where... When you press Ascendance, it does burst damage around you for Enhancement Shaman. This is the exact same thing. When you press Coordinated Assault, you charge an enemy. So you have an additional leap now. So you have this leap and this leap and an har har Harpoon leap. So, like, you don't even have to take Harpoon, probably. Anyway, we'll have to get into that later. But you jump at them doing physical damage. You and your pet's bond is then strengthened for 20 seconds, causing your pet's basic attacks to empower your next spell cast. So here we go. <clears throat> carve or butchery reduce the cooldown of wildfire bomb by an additional second so that's your aoe buff kill shot applies a bleeding gash to your target we don't know what that even means yet but again we've got kill shot here extra damage from kill shot and we've got the build over here so you could run uh, kill command uh when it resets its own cooldown it has a 15 percent chance to reset kill shot and then you're getting this kill shot bleed so that's interesting there's no mongoose bite here buff and there's no Kill Command buff here, which is what the Kill Command buff used to be the main thing on Coordinated Assault. So let's keep going down. Here's where it gets interesting. Let me get rid of something else here. Oh, God, I screwed it up. What am I putting points into? Is it this? It's this, right? It's Harpoon. Okay, so here's what, here's what you can do. Your next Kill Command has a 100% chance with three points to increase... 100% uh, increased critical strike chance after resetting when Coordinated Assault is active. So... Coordinated Assault is going to be active, and then if your Kill Command resets during that window, it then gets 100% crit chance. So that's really, really cool. That's also tied to Fury of the Eagle, right? Kill Command cooldowns. Like, this whole build is really about Kill Command cooldowns. You want to be cooling down your Kill Command as much as humanly possible. And then here, attacking your pet's target with Raptor Strike or Carve. That could be Mongoose Bite or Butchery. Extend the duration of Coordinated Assault by one and a half seconds. This is also a talent that was fairly dead. Because it was stuck behind Wildfire Infusion. So, this is really good. This is really, 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 really good. So now, Coordinated Assault has synergy with Carve, with Kill Shot. It has synergy with Kill Command now. And it has synergy with Mongoose Bite or Raptor Strike. So it kind of buffs all of those different abilities in different ways. It's not just a straight damage check. It's really, really cool how they've designed this, actually. Raptor Strike or Mongoose Bite and um, Carve or Coordinated Assault, or sorry, um, Butchery. Extend Coordinated Assault by one and a half seconds, and then you can cash in on the Coordinated Assault bonuses by throwing your Wildfire Bombs more often, getting fishing for those Kill Shot uh, procs from Kill Command. So it's actually, I like the direction that they took Coordinated Assault. And on top of that, it has an on-use damaging ability, like, like a number now, which is very good. 
that is what you want in all of your cooldowns. You want to feel like they actually do something. Like you do something when you press that button. You feel stronger when you do that. So I love that. The bottom part of the middle tree is really good. It's this middle section that is very strange. We got to fix it. Let's get to the right-hand side of the tree. <clears throat> the harpoon talents are like a crime against humanity. This is really, really bad. Somebody needs to be fired for this. I mean, not really, but this is so bad. This cannot stay the way it is. I have to spend one point on harpoon, which is fine. Two points to take 10 seconds off of harpoon? Are you kidding me? And then an additional point to get terms of engagement. Are you kidding me, Blizzard? What is this? Five points to make harpoon do what one talent makes it do, makes it does, makes it do on, on live servers? One talent basically does almost everything that this is doing in five talents. We're not getting the 10 second cooldown reduction. Whoopee. It doesn't matter. Like, that's insane. That needs to change. Very bad. Then you can take Mongoose Bite here, which is very good. You got Raptor Strike Mongoose Bite damage by 10%. I don't like this, but, like, I don't like it at all. And we're going to change it later, but it's not, like, it's not horrific. Because the Mongoose Bite damage scales, with, especially with Tip of the Spear. So that's a good little combo there. Flanking Strike is kind of here. Tactical Advantage, just Flanking Strike, Wildfire Bomb damage. Like, why? Why? Why is there 20% more Wildfire Bomb damage here for 2 points? And then there's 25% more Wildfire Bomb dam damage here for 25 points. Or for 3 points. Why do I have to spend 3 points for 25 and 2 points for 20? And I get Flanking Strike damage. Like, I can't, I can't even skip this. If I want to get the other Wildfire Bomb stuff, I can't skip this. It's so bad. This needs to change. Kill Command damage increased by 10%. That's really boring, once again. We don't want boring stuff, guys. We really don't want boring stuff. That's what you don't want. Then on top of that, we can go here to Spearhead. So this is you and your pets have 6% increased crit chance once again. That's pretty cool. This is uh, crit damage. This is really awful. Sorry. I, I thought this was crit chance. It's crit damage. My apologies. This is your crit chance here. You could get 6% crit chance and then 6% more crit chance over here on the class tree. That is actually pretty cool. 12% crit at the beginning of an expansion is no joke. That's actually not bad at all. Finally, let's get to Spearhead. Spearhead, you and your pet charge an enemy. Another charge. Okay, this is actually nuts. We have a charge here. We have a charge with coordinated assault. We have a charge with flanking strike. And we have harpoon. It really means you don't have to take Harpoon, I think, if you don't want to. <clears throat> but it's cool to see how much mobility they're giving Survival Hunter. Like, there's a lot of ways to get back to the enemy, which is very good for Survival Hunter because Survival Hunter has this, like, mid-ranged niche where they can back off of melee and still do substantial amounts of damage with, like, a Serpent Sting, Explosive Shot, Wildfire Bomb, Kill Shot. You can pop Fury of the Eagle and do damage. And then you have multiple, multiple ways to get back to the enemy with Coordinated Assault, Spearhead. Uh, flanking strike. So it's kind of cool. I like that direction actually a lot. You and your pet charge the enemy, striking them for physical damage. You then become one with your pet for 12 seconds. While active, your pet damage is increased by 25%. Raptor strike and mongoose bite deal 35% more damage over four seconds. And kill command has a 20% increased chance to reset. So this is like an all-encompassing buff, mostly for single target, right? Your single target. This is like your big single target finisher. So good with Mongoose Bite if you want to do a single target build. So you've got like your tip of the spear buffing Mongoose Bite. And then you're going to take some kill command stuff probably into Spearhead. Maybe you could take Coordinated Assault as well. I don't, I'm not even sure how I built out this tree, but it doesn't really matter. Um, How many points can I get rid of here? All the Harpoon stuff, please get rid of it. Like, you could go down here. You could do other stuff with this. But Spearhead's very, very cool. I'm not really keen on the the 12-second duration. It should be, like, 14, I think. I don't know. I feel like a 12-second duration is, like, you're only going to get 7 or 8 GCDs. Because we have the GCD problem, right? Like, you might only get 7 or 8 GCDs in that window. Unless you're in Lust. If you have a haste buff rolling, then fair enough. But it's, it's a good button, though. It's a really good button. I just feel like the tuning could go up a little bit. Maybe instead of 12 seconds, make it 14 seconds. Something like that. So, good button, though. I like this new button. I like the new direction of all the different dashes that they're giving Survival Hunter. I like Coordinated Assault. It looks good. I actually like Fury of the Eagle now, now that I understand it better in terms of how it fits into the Kill Command um, combo. There's really a big focus on Kill Command here for this tree. 
Let me just look really quickly at, <clears throat> let me show you what I wanted to sort of do for my mock-up. So, um, put this here, put this here. So here's what I wanted to do. There's a lot of stuff that I just like really don't like about this tree. Most of it's the passive damage increases that are just like 20% damage here. Oh, let me move my camera into the middle. 20% damage. Um, let me shrink it a little bit. We're going to get small. There we go. We're good. I'm a little smaller now. So like this is bad, right? Damage, damage. It's just damage. This is crit damage. It's just bad. These four are really, really bad. This is like a criminal line right here. The harpoon stuff's really bad. So let's change some of it. <clears throat> Let's start on the left-hand side of the tree. And I what I want to change is some of the wildfire bomb stuff. This is really bad. 25% wildfire bomb damage for three points is really bad. So what you should do instead, I think, if Blizzard's listening, is something like this. Create a new passive called Accelerated Explosives. Whatever you want to call it, I don't care. <clears throat> or Improved Wildfire Bomb. And instead of just giving it 25% more damage, you make Wildfire Bomb... You reduce the cooldown on Wildfire Bomb by four seconds. So it's a two-point instead of a three-point. Wildfire bomb cooldown by two two seconds or four seconds. Wildfire bomb radius by four seconds. Because the really one problem with wildfire bomb on the live game is that it doesn't always hit targets that are like three to four yards away and then beyond. It doesn't hit any of those targets. Your wildfire cluster, which is what a survival hunter takes right now, that will hit all those extra enemies, but not the initial bomb itself. You have to really have everybody clumped up together. So if this is going to be our main form of, of, of AOE damage, really, it needs to have a bigger radius. So I think wildfire bomb cooldown by four seconds, wildfire bomb radius by four yards is really, really a great bonus that you could put here. That's right underneath uh, Gorilla Tactics. Put that here. Then, instead of 6% critical hit damage, which is garbage, instead, let's make it something called Nature's Sting. So you get 4, 8, 12% more fire and nature damage. It fits really well with the Wildfire Bomb um, build over here. And it also fits with a Serpent Sting playstyle over here on the class tree, if you want to do it that way. So you And also, you're going to be taking Wildfire Infusion down here, right? Let me get rid of some of this. You're going to take Wildfire Infusion, which means you're going to have the Serpent Sting Wildfire Bomb. And that will also benefit from Nature Sting. So I feel like something like Nature Sting fits perfectly into this side of the tree, where you've got 12% more fire damage on your bombs, which helps to fill the role of the improved Wildfire Bomb that they had here, which was garbage. And then you also get 12% Nature Damage, which means your Serpent Sting does more damage and your um, Wildfire Bomb that gives you all the Serpent Sting, like, re it rebuffs it, right? It re reapplies it that'll be buffed as well i feel like that would be a really cool idea down at the bottom here i think they need to give you a couple options i think you should pick between the flayed shot and and fury of the eagle i made this when i didn't understand what fury of the eagle did so i feel like there should be a choice known at the bottom here give us flayed shot back and fury of the eagle put them both there because it means you get to pick a particular style that you want to go for are you doing a wildfire bomb kill shot build which then would work with flayed shot or are you doing a wildfire bomb kill command build with fury of the eagle where you're getting resets on kill command as much as possible that would give you some interesting build diversity there you could really double down on a kill shot build if you if you had flayed shot down here as an option combining it here with improved kill shot up here and then all the bomb stuff that also reduces the cooldown of wildfire bomb and then your kill command has a chance to give you kill shot back. Like, I just think that there would be a really cool option here to put flayed shot. That, like, it's a great opportunity there. Let's keep going. <clears throat> back to the top. The top of the tree here needs to have no harpoon right here. This needs to be carve instead. Or carve just needs to be baseline. But let's just put carve right here. Get rid of carve in the middle here. This is just butchery now and another option. I'll get to that in a second. So carve moves up here. Okay. Harpoon is going to move out here to the side and it's going to have its bonus of terms of engagement down below. So carve and terms of engagement are right here. Okay. They just, they're not connected to anything. It's just once you start putting points into this tree, harpoon becomes available right away. I don't know how you want to structure, but it needs to go over to the right here. 
So then instead of harpoon here, instead of harpoon and then the buff to harpoon, you have carve, and then carve costs 10 less focus, which also applies to butchery, by the way. 10 less focus would be a really big godsend on carve and butchery. I'm telling you right now, because um, it, it would just feel really, really good. Just trust me on that. If you played Survival Hunter, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you're like waiting to press carve because you have no no focus. So you can get the cooldown reduction on your bombs and you just like can't press it because you have no focus. So anyway, put carve here. Carve costs 10% less focus. Harpoon's out here. Harpoon gets its little buff. New passive right here. Okay. This is from Legion, the artifact weapon. It's called Iron Talons. Increases your physical damage dealt by 8%. Why put physical damage buff here? Well, because we have our fire and our nature stuff over here. This is like the fire tree. You can come over here and buff your physical damage, which also buffs Mongoose Bite damage. We want to make sure that there's distinctions here, very separate ideas on what build we're doing. So this now buffs your Mongoose Bite, your Butchery, your uh, Flanking Strike. It gives you more uh, opportunity to take Flanking Strike, etc., etc. It buffs Kill Command. It doesn't buff Wildfire Bomb. It doesn't buff your Stings, your Serpent Sting. It doesn't buff Explosive Shot. So there's a very real distinction that we're making here between the physical side of the tree and the like nature fire side of the tree. That connects you to the Mongoose Bite uh, ability itself. Okay. Tip of the spear is still going to stay there. Then we keep moving. In the middle here, instead of having carve and butchery, which literally makes no sense, you're going to have a new choice note called butchery and hydra's bite. We're going to bring hydra's bite back. So you get to choose, once again, between a physical AoE button in butchery. You already get carve for free, okay, with this tree. You're getting carve. So if you don't want to have a juiced up carve in the form of butchery, if you don't care about doing physical damage, you can instead switch over to Hydra's Bite. So Serpent Sting now fires arrows at three additional enemies instead of two. Sorry, I, I worded that wrong. But instead of... um, Oh, no, sorry. It is three additional enemies because they don't have Hydra's Bite here. So again, here's what it is. You take either Butchery here or Hydra's Bite. Butchery is the physical damage stuff going to the physical side of the tree. Hydra's Bite is the fire nature side of the tree expressing itself so hydra's bite would synergize with serpent sting here obviously and then you could take viper's venom or latent poison injectors these both become more enticing now because you have a way to spread multiple um serpent stings maybe just make it so that it's the live version and serpent sting only fires to two additional enemies so now you have three serpent stings going out every time you press that button and you're getting um a chance to make your next one with, like, you can take this, Latent Poison Injector or Viper's Venom. There's a build there, right? There's now a build there. So now your build becomes, like, Wildfire Bombs with some Kill Commands, plus Serpent Sting spreading, and Nature Damage with the Choice Note up here. As opposed to going into the Mongoose Bite stuff, okay? So I think that would be a really cool Choice Note there. It helps you with your AoE, but it's not as good as the Butchery AoE. It's just a different way of doing it, Okay. Let's move down here from Mongoose Bite. <clears throat> Moving down. We're going to have an arrow from Mongoose Bite all the way down to Tactical Advantage, which is not Tactical Advantage anymore. These have all changed. Okay? Here's what we're going to do. This node here just becomes 10% more stamina, just like the rogues get. I think that would be really cool as a Survival Hunter in particular. Survival Hunter should be tankier than the other two specs. Can we just please embrace the actual name of the spec for crying out loud? It's called Survival Hunter. So it should be able to survive better than the other hunters do. So this needs to be 10% more stamina. Okay, that's what this is here. Then this middle one is now called Mongoose's Fury or Mongoose Fury, whatever you want to call it. That's the buff that you get for, for Mongoose Bite. So Mongoose Bite has a base damage increase of 15% and it lasts for 14 seconds. That's the Mongoose Bite window. You could take this talent that now says the Mongoose Fury damage bonus goes up by 2%. So now it's 17% each time you stack it. And the Mongoose Fury buff lasts for four more seconds. So now you have a true Mongoose Bite single target build. The Mongoose Bite window lasts for 18 seconds instead of 14 seconds. That is a huge buff. And it's far enough down the tree, I think, that it still allows you to spread out and go take a couple of other things. But... It's a very, very powerful effect that if you want to take in single target encounters, <clears throat> you can. It would make your single target damage really, really strong. Maybe four seconds is too long. I don't care about the numbers, but just make it, make this buff 
there. Because a 14 second mongoose bite window is kind of is kind of terrible. Okay, let's move right along. Here's the last big one in the middle here. This is a choice node, okay? A triple choice node. Three choices. You can choose butchery gets one more charge. So instead of having three charges, it has four. Serpent Sting fires one more arrow. So instead of Hydra's Bite only firing, hitting, like your Serpent Sting only hits three targets. Now it'll hit four targets. Okay. Or Mongoose Bite and Raptor Strike hit one additional enemy every time you cast them. So you have small two-target cleave now. You have big AoE with Butchery. And then you have like mid-ranged nature damage AoE with Serpent Sting. That would be an incredibly cool choice to get to make. And I think that it really sends you down a particular direction in terms of this tree and where you want to go. That's what we need. We want choices. I want choices, right? I think that would be a really cool idea. Finally, let's talk about this here. <clears throat> this right now, let me move this over here. Get rid of this. Let's go down here. Okay. Right now, this is Coordinated Kill, Birds of Prey. I actually like all these. I just want a little bit of extra stuff. Initially, I had actually moved Fury of the Eagle over to here, into the middle part of the tree, because it has different synergies elsewhere. But I actually was wrong. I thought it had Mongoose Bite synergy, so maybe I wouldn't move that anymore. What you could add, though, is just put... Um, Fury, I was putting Fury of the Eagle here. I was putting Birds of Prey up here and Coordinated Kill up here. So, again, you, maybe you don't have to change this anymore. This could all actually just stay the same now that I really understand what Fury of the Eagle does. So, I actually think Fury of the Eagle is fine. Deadly Duo is fine. Wildfire Infusion is fine. This is good. Explosive Expert is good. This 20 more uh, focus is good. All three of these are very good. Spearhead is very good. Precision is actually quite good. Tip of the Spear into Mongoose Bite is good. Lund is really good. There are some things that are good about this, guys, but there are just some obvious problems with this tree that I think need to get fixed. The new coordinated assault cooldown is very, very cool. But again, five points for Harpoon, just straight damage bonuses here instead of interesting bonuses that increase your damage. I could get, you know, 10% uh, more damage, 15% more damage on Mongoose Bite. I could go get this talent right here. Or we could change it into Mongoose Fury. And it still gives me a damage bonus, but it, it just, it makes it more fun. Now my Mongoose window is longer. What can I fit into my Mongoose window now? Like, it makes you think about your play style rather than just saying, oh, here's an auto take. I must, I have to take this because I'm doing a Mongoose Bite build. I want 15% more damage. That's so friggin' boring. We want to make things exciting and different. So I really hope that Blizzard, like, takes a look at some of these ideas. Not necessarily my ideas. I don't even care if they use my ideas. But please, for the love of God... Stop making us take five points for Harpoon and, and make this interesting. Please get rid of Carve and Butchery on the same line because they're literally the same ability. One's just worse than the other. Please introduce some Serpent Sting stuff into the um, Survival Hunter tree because that was a huge part of our damage was Serpent Sting. And we can take it over here anyway in the class tree. Like, I just want there to be some cool options in this build. Um that's what, I, that's what I really want. And I'm hoping that something like this would be a really cool start for them uh, for Survival Hunter. So let me know what you guys think. I want to hear what you think about Survival Hunter. Um, there's a lot of problems with this tree. I really hope that Blizzard takes a hard look at it. The alpha is out right now. It's out today. So I'm hoping that people maybe jump on this and start to look at these talent trees. I wish that I could get in there and just show them what's wrong with all this stuff. Because I, I just feel like there's ways to make this better. So... Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to drop a like, I would really appreciate it. It helps the algorithm quite a bit, guys. If you want to subscribe, that's even better. Um, if you want to support the future of what I'm doing here, Patreon is the best way to do that. I've got a Patreon channel with a couple of different really cool bonuses, so go check that out as well. As always, guys, thank you so much. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.